Report from the Notre Dame Center in Jerusalem, where the Pope will be accommodated. This is the Notre Dame Center for Pilgrims, built in Jerusalem by French priests between 1884 and 1904. This is where the Holy Father will be staying in his first visit to Jerusalem in May 2014. The Israeli authorities are preparing themselves for the historic visit. We hope that the atmosphere here, with the influence of the, the Pope, will uh, support the peace process. It is possible to sense the fragrance of history in the walls of the Institute. Until today, it serves as a meeting point between the three monotheistic religions, Judaism, Christianity and Islam. In the recent week of Easter in the Via Dolorosa, a mere 15-minute walk away from Notre Dame, 125,000 pilgrims from all corners of the earth came walking through the various Jesus stations dating two millennia ago. The Pope appointed the Mexican priest Juan Maria Solana as responsible for the Notre Dame in the name of the Holy See. I think that the very fact that Pope Francis is coming to the Holy Land is an invitation to all Christians to come to the Holy Land. Now they are all preparing themselves for the pilgrimage of Pope Francis. The Pope will have a lunch downstairs on the first ground. The Pope eats very, very simple. No wine, no drinks. He drinks just water, a soup or rice or whatever. And of course, he's Argentinian, so look for good, good meat. A place with an ecumenical character offered to the world as an institute for peace in the heart of the so-called city of peace.